Let's explore Cagayan de Oro City. The city of Cagayan de Oro is considered as the melting pot of northern Mindanao. It is known as the gateway to the southern Philippines. This highly urbanized city is dubbed as a city of golden opportunity that serves as a provincial capital as well as a regional center of northern Mindanao. Being a gateway hub of northern Mindanao that connects the city to the rest of the region and neighboring provinces. Indeed, there are many opportunities for a brighter future in Cagayan de Oro City. Cagayan de Oro is a place to be if you're looking for adventure, good food, scenic views, and cultural and historical sites. And Cagayanans are among the friendliest people in the world and are known as the city of golden friendship. You'll be surprised by how warmly Cagayanan greet you with a genuine smile. Today, sumahan ko, let's visit the city downtown area in Cagayan de Oro City and explore some tourist spots in the heart of the city. First up, let's visit the century-old stained glass panel of this neo-gothic architectural style of San Agustin Metropolitan Cathedral, located at the old town center of Cagayan de Misamis. The St. Agustin Church was built in 1845 by Father Simon Loscos de Santa Catalina, featuring a neo-gothic architectural style. The church walls and buttresses were originally made out of coral stone, believed to have been imported from China. And San Agustin Church was elevated to the status of cathedral in 1933. However, the cathedral was severely damaged during the World War II and it was rebuilt and renovated in 1947. But some of the original coral stones are still embedded inside the current concrete walls. It was around this time that the century-old stained glass windows imported from the U.S. were installed, donated by the Chapel of Sisters of the Sacred Heart of New York. And just beside San Agustin Cathedral is Gaston Park is a relaxing haven for Cagayanons and visitors in the city. Gaston Park was the main plaza of Cagayan de Misamis, the old name of Cagayan de Oro, during the Spanish colonial period. This park is rich in history. It was the site of the Battle of Cagayan de Misamis in April 7, 1900s. A battle between the troops of General Nicolas Capistrano and the American soldiers. Next up is Cagayan de Oro City Museum. Just a few steps away from Gaston Park is the old water tank tower, was designed with American colonial architectural style, was built in 1922, and was renovated and improved into a city museum in 2008. It is one of the oldest public structure in the city as it has withstood the bombing during the World War II. Next stop is Iselina Bridge, or locally known as Carmen Bridge. It's situated just between the City Hall and San Agustin Cathedral that connects Divisoria to Barangay Carmen on the other side of Cagayan River. This iconic Iselina Bridge is one of the oldest steel bridge in Cagayan de Oro City. Built in 1946, the bridge is named after Governor Iselina former governor of Misamis Oriental. The bridge was restored under the U.S.-Philippines Rehabilitation Act of 1946 by the U.S. State Bureau and the Philippines Bureau of Public Works. And just a few meters away from the city museum is the city hall also recognized as 
City Executive House. Inaugurated in August 26, 1940, this city hall features a frontal porch in neoclassical and colonial architectural design. And formerly known as the Old Casa Real in Cagayan, El Chico. Casa Real was once the center of political power in northern Mindanao. All Spanish political military governors of Misamis live at Casa Real de Cagayan, El Chico. Built in 1831, Casa Real was later demolished sometimes between 1910 and 1930. On this site, Cagayan de Misamis celebrated independence in January 10 and 11 in 1899. With the so-called Fiesta Nacional outside the Casa Real, the people held parade, play music, give speeches, and fire cannons. The first time Filipino declared Aguinaldo Republic and raised the Filipino flag in Mindanao. A few steps away from the city hall is the Trinitas Roa Reyes ancestral home. This was the home of the late Misamis governor Jose Barrientos Reyes. In the early 1930s, the house became the momentary bishop official residence of Bishop James Hayes. Today, the ancestral house is in a state of disrepair, but you can still see the solid wood timber post and the roof beam with sophisticated wood carving on top of the posts. Just a few meters away from the city hall is Lourdes College, a contemporary structure built during the late 1940s. Lourdes College was originally a school exclusively for girls under the religions of the Virgin Mary or RVM Sisters, a complement of Ateneo de Cagayan under the Jesuits, which was a school exclusively for boys. And just one block away from Lourdes College is Plaza Divisoria, also known as Golden Friendship Park. Built in 1901 by Don Tierzoneri as a town natural divider or divisoria or fire breaker after a great fire that almost burned down the entire town of Cagayan de Misamis, the old name of Cagayan de Oro. This park is divided into five islands featuring the monument dedicated to local and national heroes like Dr. Jose Rizal and the former mayor, Hostinano R. Borja, at Kiosko Kagawase, and the former president, Ramon Magsaysay, and the Cry Freedom Monument, where most of the Cagayanon soldiers who died during the Philippine-American War are believed to be buried beneath the monument and has survived the savage of time during the World War II. And within Plaza de Visoria is the Community Amphitheater, or locally called Ampi, a Cagayan de Oro's iconic and historical landmark. Originally built by the beloved former city mayor, Hostiniano Arbora in 1958. And in February 28, 2022, a newly inaugurated Cagayan de Oro Amphitheater was reborn as part of the Visoria Facelift Project. Next up, we're going to visit one of the oldest or perhaps the oldest store in the city, just 50 meters away from Amphitheater. Mr. Wados, an Indian national, started doing business in Cagayan de Oro City in 1936 in a small store near Plaza de Visoria. And in 1958, Wado's Quality Store was relocated in J.R. Bora Street, Corner Pabayo, its current location. If you have noticed a lot of buildings and structures 
within the old historical poblacion of Cagayan de Oro are Art Deco structure in style. Like the prominent Tamparong building, the Art Nouveau Contemporary or Art Deco in style. Brutalist architecture style was also a trend in Cagayan de Oro City in the past. Near Divisoria Plaza, you will see the oldest house in the city, built in 1892, the Casa del Chino Igua, located at Corner Velas and Hay Street. The original structure was built in 1882, and these are some of the most important historical structure in downtown Cagayan de Oro. A Cerro Ancestral House, located at Capistano Street beside Cosmopolitan Funeral Home. The house was protected during the World War II because the Japanese military used this as their office and shelter. The Trinidad Gate of City Central, situated at Vela Street. Constructed in 1936. And the main building of the Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School or MOGS, one of the oldest public structure in Cagayan de Oro, a great example of Gabaldon School Building. And our final destination is the provincial capital of Misamis Oriental, one of the most historical landmark in Cagayan de Oro City. It was completed in December 1950 during the tenure of Governor Isilina. The design of this provincial capital is a mix of Art Deco that meets Frank Lloyd Wright that meets Bauhaus. This building boasts a beautiful interplay of volume. A great example of an American colonial architecture. My gratitude to Dr. Antonio J. Montalban II the source of historical data of this black. I hope you enjoy our virtual tour in the city of Golden Friendship. Mayong pagabot sa siyudad sa Cagayan de Oro. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Architect Studio, and thank you for watching.